We had a good run as a dragon. Finding my new little bug friend and growing the dragon cave into a massive pile of gold. But now we must move out as I, Flip, have been given the best origin for me in the entire afterlife server. I am now barrel, barrel, oh, barrel. Oh, I love these barrels. B fantastic. Best barrels ever. Best barrels. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. The almighty fisherman. No fish shall remain uncaught. We will feast upon many cod and salmon in the rivers of this server. With the newfound powers of being a village fisherman, we've got a big project ahead of us here today, my friends. My poor villager friends are trapped down here inside of a cave. What an evil, evil person would do this. My brothers, I'm so sorry. I'll get you out. We've got Smurfville, but it's a a wee bit small for us. So it's time to build a brand new village up here on the top of the mountain. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I heard the book. I heard the book. The villagers are still alive in here. Oh, look at those trades. 11. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, this is, oh, that's so good. Oh, this is going to be so good. Six emeralds, front breaking three. Y'all stay safe in there. Let's start by putting together a bunch of resources so we can lay out where these village buildings are going to go. I'm thinking we start with a load of cobblestone and kind of themes off a of plains barrel theme off of a plains village so that it fits the vibe out here now for the start of any good village we need an iron golem keep us safe my boy keep us safe now to get the plan down for the village excuse me buddy move please thank you infrastructure coming through building a village And there we have it. The layout for the village is done. We've got a bunch of buildings in here and we need to give the villagers a place to call home. This whole nighttime thing as a villager is gonna be extremely dangerous. One, I get slowness and two, I can't fly anymore. And I'm out of torches. Please be safe, please be safe. Oh, we're good. Now for the village itself. I would love to use mostly spruce and oak and I wanna get a fun color for the roof. I'm just not quite sure what to do with that yet. Honestly, tough stairs exist. That could be really fun. And we do have tough, lots of tough. How have I never looked at this block before? Oh, I love it. Okay, we're using that. On top of that, I'd like to bring the carpenter's table as well as the mason's table. Base camp is now set up with some chests so we don't get distracted. And we need our crafting table. Then it's time to get a bunch of spruce logs and oak wood. And we're gonna start out with just a bunch of different varieties today. Now, the most important element of building up a village is getting a supply of food. So over here, we're gonna be starting out with building up a farmer's house. Taking a bunch of strips spruce logs on the corners, I think will work out really well. And so we can get the style down on this build, I'm thinking we use a few cobblestone bricks here along the edge as a trim a door here at the front and from here we incorporate a bunch of oak planks leaving space for a few windows and maybe a rough spot for a chimney right back in here i really do love all the decoration options we get so we can maybe incorporate something like that at the top and now to have a little bit of fun here on the back we're gonna give ourselves a really steep curve for the roofs here this way we can make it a little bit more unique now around this we'll maybe do a spruce trim on this guy Come to think of it, if the front here is actually one block shorter, we'll get a little bit more variety and I think it might work a little bit better. Now, how does this look? The polished tuff. I think that's gonna do great. Now to decorate the house. Going for a little bit of the overgrown prairie look out here. And I think it's absolutely amazing with all these flowering azaleas. We got a few mushrooms on the side. I built out this little overhang back in here so that we can start moving into planting a big old wheat field here for the farmer to actually, you know, get some crops for the village. And inside has a tiny bit of decoration to it. We'll come and fill it out some more later. And I did include a botanist workbench so I don't have to keep running back to the dragon cave all the way over there. But we got ourselves a bunch of seeds we got ourselves an unbreakable hoe and some buckets let's get field planting Heaven's Reach, the home of all of the sheep on the server. Hello, my beautifuls. I guess we're gonna get red beds. We're gonna have all the red beds. And that should do it. We don't need too many beds. Hi, how are you doing? Having a good day? I hope so. You know, Sausage is the little ant boy right now. Maybe we can make a trade with him and bring him some like sugar. Let's see if he's around. Oh, he's got a barrel. He's got a barrel. Oh, barrels. I love barrels, barrels. Oh, he's got a barrel. He's got a barrel. Okay, bar uh, I'll be back. I'll be back, my barrel. Where is he? Where's the little guy? Hello? Who Hello? Who's here? Hello? Um, hello? hello? Hi! Hello? hello? I'm literally in the front door! Hello? Hello? Hello, I'm right here in the front door! Oh my lord, what happened to you? Oh, I'm an ant! You're an ant. 
Honey shrunk the kids. Got it. Okay. Hi. 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 Welcome. Welcome to my huge giant chess room. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. Wait, what beautiful. are you? What, I, what happened to you, dragon? I, yeah, I'm no longer a dragon. I know. Oh, oh barrels. Barrels. Oh, what? Barrels. What are you doing with my barrel? Wait. Barrels. You look like a fisherman. Are you a barrels. fisherman? Barrels. You have barrels. Oh, he's a fisherman. Barrels. Oh, God. Oh, Come barrels. Down. I love the barrels. Are you stuck to that? Don't link to these. Don't link to... I have to break them. What's in here? I have to break it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Don't link to that one. You're I so can't small. be doing this. Look at you. So I'm a tiny little man. You're yeah, tiny. this is what I do oh, you're so small. Well, I anyways, you, I'm, you uh, I'm a villager now. I'm a villager now. Have an iron oh, golem. Yes. He's friendly. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, he's so nice. He better not kill me, okay? I got a long life no, to he's, live he's, right now. No, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. But anyways, oh, I'm running around yeah. with trades. Uh, I, I didn't realize you'd be that small, but I heard you like sweet things. I love sweet. I, you have sugar. Oh, I love sugar. sugar. You, want, you want a little sugar? There's a little, little yep. sugar for the tiny guy. And I also brought some sweet berries. Oh, perfect. Here, you can have some some of that. You can have some bread. I know you like bread. Oh, I, I do you like bread. You oh, like bread. I love oh. bread. Oh, oh, oh carrots. Oh, the best, the best, best. Oh, carrots. Barrels, oh. carrots, bread. Oh, Ooh, yeah. it's a good day for a villager. Oh, it's a good it's day so for good. a villager. I have to zoom in so far to actually even be able to see you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's it's a great time. And I can go poof and be away. Okay, now that you're down there, I'm going to go. Bye now. A barrel for the barrel god. And now, very importantly, in the center of our village up here, I think we need a little bit of a well. Taking some deep slate for the base. First palisades on the corners. Now, I'd like to use some copper for the top so that we can throw a lightning rod in this village and not have to worry about the villagers you know dying to lightning strikes or turning into witches but so that it doesn't stand out too much let's do a little bit of spruce as a trim around it and perfect a little bit of a bulky well but i think we can make it work toss some water in and now we just never have to walk down the hill again now for a quick word from today's sponsor true story i recently picked out these glasses at warbyparker.com and so i went down to my local store to get them altered to make sure they could fit perfectly well there i received a message from warby parker asking to sponsor a video not gonna lie, I was a little freaked out. I bought my glasses from them for the last four years, and they provided excellent service every time. Warby Parker offers eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and contact lenses online and in store. Glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. Today, I'm using Warby Parker's free home try on program. To get the right fit and style, you can have five pairs of glasses shipped to your home for free with no obligation to buy. When you're done, you can send them back at no cost to you. As someone who has a very big brain, I mean head, I really like Warby Parker as any frame including sunglasses can be used for optical lenses and also vice versa. Optical frames can also be converted to sunglasses. Pick your style and what fits best then chat with a rep to make it happen. Want to learn more and try on some glasses yourself for free? What? Check out warbyparker.com slash flip. Link in the description as well. With that though, we finally got our first bed in here for the villagers to actually call home. They've got a workstation right out here in the front. And I think we're going to wait to bring them up because uh, there's no wall around this village quite yet. And they're going to get themselves killed. So next up, what I would like to build is right over here. I want a grain silo, a grain silo, and a little chicken coop. Chicken coop still to go right over there, but we've got it. And I'm extending the pathway out as our iron golem protection force is still a growing. I've labeled all the rest of the buildings. So we're going to have a stone mason right over here with a little outdoor workstation in the back. This one is going to be a small storage building for ourselves, full of barrels. This down here is for the fisherman house. Hello, I am the fisherman. And up here, I would like to have a blacksmith where I think we're going to have some toolsmiths ready to go. Just chilling in here with a, like this being like an outdoor working forge of sorts. And and then they got a little small house or shop front right in there. But first we need chicken coop. Okay, maybe not exactly like that because it's a little dark in there for the chickens. So instead we have new plan of they get a little window on both sides, but this will be the only way in and out. And then on top of this to make sure we can keep the chickens in here, if we do a little structure, chickens should not be able to get in or out. So they can actually roam around doing their own thing, which would be fantastic. Kind of blocking the entrance to the field, but I think that's okay just to skirt around the edge. Next up, we need to find some eggs so we can try and spawn a chicken in there. I don't think I have any eggs, unfortunately, but I know just where to go find some. We must move quickly now. Quickly flee to the orb for the beautiful orb shaped burbs down here. I would like your eggs, please. Thank you. Eggs. Yes. Oh, 16. Perfect. More eggs. Oh, oh, wow. That that'll do. Now let's just also hope this works. Oh, we got one chicken and you stay. You're staying in there. You're staying in the chicken coop and we got a second chicken up above. Maybe he'll stay in here only two chickens honestly that's probably okay 
that's okay. We got two chickens. Look at you. You're beautiful. Next says I'm extremely low on levels. I'm going to go to the Ender Ender and get a little bit of experience. And for the first time ever, I can actually use this railing. Oh, I can use the ladder. It's great. Leaving the experience farm is a lot more terrifying when you can't fly. This is a lot worse. Ender boys, I am not here. For the next project over here, my friends, I first and foremost acquired another barrel for the barrel god, but we must move them as it is time to terraform and bring up the landscape to raise our house from being so far down the side of the hill. So we need dirt, lots of dirt. And I think we might have a little bit here in the dragon cave. Yes, that should be plenty. Next up, I would like to work on our stonemason. We've got a lot of the earth brought up around here, and I even brought up a little workstation area over here so we can place some items down. First off, starting off with the mason's table, because, well, that makes sense. And then also, most importantly, the stone cutter. And I figured we could throw a lot of our workbenches back here just so that there's something more usable. And as well as the smithing table, because I think it kind of fits here. We might move it into the forge, but for now, they're all just going to hang out back here. On top of this, I need to get a load of bricks, because being a stonemason, house i feel like that makes sense to build out of brick we might be able to find some here in the forest or not never mind but i do know where we can get some over to joel's big and hot base that he started out originally before moving in next to us there's this weird little river right back here that has tons of clay along it and it looks like some people have already been grabbing a little bit out of it so if we wander down this way a little bit farther away from his base so he'd never really see it get rid of the water and we get the clay balls That should hopefully do it. Got a bunch of the clay balls smelting away now so we can get ourselves some bricks. Well, that's going. There's a little bit of a problem I noticed when running through the village. You hear that subtle murmur coming from underneath the earth? I think we've done a bit of an oopsie over here. Oh, God. No, oh, my brothers. No. Oh, no. The villager breeder's been running this entire time. Block it off. No more access to the beds. No more babies. Oh, God. Oh, God. We have to find homes for all of them. Oh no, no, oh no, no, we can't, we can't have them. My people, they're in a cage that I built, but they're in a cage. My past self built it, not me, I swear. That was my nose, it was really close. We'll be back for them soon. As a villager, I'm an extremely hungry boy and we gotta get a lot of crops ready for once we bring the farmer in. So I'm gonna come over here back to Mushroom Land, Smurfville, and see if we can't just harvest up all of the crops. Planting them back down, of course. During that time, all the bricks are able to smelt down, so we are good to go on the build. And I think for this one, we can go a little bit shorter and smaller than we had on our farmhouse over there. But I wanted to bring a little bit of the stone like this down here along the base. Hopefully we've got enough because I love this stone brick. We can get a big door here in the front and then maybe a small tiny door that, that you can use to walk down to this back workstation. From here, I'd like to bring some bricks up on at least one edge of the house. I'm not sure if we have enough to make it all the way around, but maybe to variate it a little bit, we just do this side with some oak over here and then also this back wall because otherwise I think it's a little too much brick and it stands out a bit too much from everything else we got. You want to work in here? You can work in here. Throw on the front door on and some spruce doors down here. And then we just do another little door right back in here and some stairs that can walk us down into the workstation with a definitely non-villager proof railing. To break up the consistency on the roofs that we've been doing as well, I think it could be really fun to bring in some dark oak along here. And I think the contrast is gonna work super well. And now we gotta mix in the tuff that we're using for the top up here. But I'm thinking as a way to break it up, we can also maybe slide in it over here, get a small window in the top. Mixing in a little bit of the regular tuff down here as well, I think it's a good way that we can save on some of the resources and bam a few little flowering azalea bushes they contrast so well with this build maybe some more there and i have one left for right up there now it is time to decorate again taking a moment to improve the farmland as well and making sure it is completely villager safe with a nice little retaining wall and some slabs on top so the villagers can't get in or out and since i'm over here we probably want a lantern right in there too something tells me zombies are going to spawn all over this farmland eventually but the stonemason's house is fully decorated out and i love it the interior still needs a little bit more love for it, but it's mostly functional for now for the stonemason to hang out in there. 
and our little outdoor workstation is very full of golems but we've got all of our stations back here pretty much ready to go a bunch of storage and a nice little way to walk out with this cool little covering in here oh i love it the village is really evolving two buildings are done along with a functional storage building and we've got three more to go next up we've got ourselves a blacksmith to build this time we've got a nice little square building over here which would be really fun to work with so i'm thinking we go with a one wide door here on the front and then getting into the actual smithing area we have a little bit of a larger door going back to the original plan of the vertical oak planks leaving space for a window in here but bringing back in the bricks since this wall over here is gonna be a little hot with a giant forge there so we probably want something more sturdy than some flammable wood now outside i thought it could be fun to bring in a bunch of the palisades and on top of those we add in some spruce slabs But this right here is a little too steep so maybe a little bit of a softer slope perfect now we just gotta throw a forge in here the blacksmith is all done and dusted now and i absolutely love it the interior's got a little bit of like a table over here this type of stuff and then we've got another bedroom right up here for a villager to live inside speaking of the villagers i think it's finally time to uh get them out of the hole we'll see what they can do and for this today i propose chaos so the villagers are right here i need to go get one piece of soul sand put it right there and i want to create a bubble column elevator that just shoots them out into the village they're all coming out today oh perfect the land in the storage room we could maybe build that into the house wait this is great hopefully we actually have some soul sand because i don't want to go to the nether yes 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 oh good just gonna leave an iron golem on the path to keep it safe operation get the villagers out is a go what we need to do is come in here and we're gonna be flooding the villagers so they actually can't get back towards us which is fantastic and then we put the sign in the villagers are in here with us and we do the soul sand and we shoot up <laughs> and then out come the villagers welcome to your new home my brothers welcome home i built this all for you there might be oh there's a lot of you oh there's a lot more of you than i thought there would be oh hey that's my barrel you don't you dare take that's my barrel that is my barrel Ooh, we've got our first toolsmiths we got our first stonemasons over here oh the village is full of life oh it's fantastic everybody's here now and oh before anybody takes that fall let's do that <laughs> i love this we've got two buildings left to build and we need a wall around this place to protect them but for now have an iron golem they gave me a fish Wait, give me that fish. They're just giving me things. Oh, I love this. Oh, a shovel. I just got a stone shovel. They love me. I brought them out of the cave into light. The first time seeing a sunset in their entire lives and they love me. Good news is we can take all these potatoes right over here to the farmer and get a load of emeralds. Thanks, buddy. What did you throw at me? You just picked it up. He gave me something. You stole it. What the heck? That was mine. First, you steal my barrels. You steal my goodies and you sir i want all these i want all your bricks oh wow everybody get out of here come oh trapdoor is not good for villagers i always forget that what we need to do is come back here take this cobblestone and turn it into this weird little bricky cobblestone thingy and it's time to work on the storage building we will build this in here somehow and i've got a little bit of a plan in mind to make it safer I'm thinking doorway goes in right here the emerging chamber is going to be right in there since we're on such a huge slope the building's going to be a little bit shorter We can have a little bit of an entryway right in here with some of these bricks, but the walls are up all the way around. We just got to open this area up a touch more. And then we can use these guys right along here to be our entryway. They just love giving me fish. I haven't even went fishing yet, and I have so much fish. Now for the roof on this one, I want to go with dark oak. So it kind of matches this guy, but it's a little kind of sticking into the road. So we might make this corner a touch weird. Since we're going with the gray theme for the roofs around here, I fell off. I'd like to do something similar, but still add some variety. So we're going to try some andesite. And I need to go find some more dark oak slabs. Uh, we're all out of dark oak wood. Maybe we have saplings? So no dark oak wood, but moving on to getting this thing sorted out here. We'll get the roof patched up in a moment. Right now, we have string, observer, redstone dust. You touch that, it lights that up. Going off of what we did for the sugarcane farm, you go in here it'll just move you out. So if any villagers pop up, they just get moved forwards. So instead of needing to worry about them staying in the hot tub, there's actually no way as I'm now standing in the hot tub. It should work, hopefully. Otherwise, they'll just get a nice little head bashing. 
So I'm boating by the red panda Joey's house right over there. And I just randomly picked up a dolphin head. Like I, I haven't killed one. I'm not that evil, but there's just a dolphin head floating in the ocean out here. What is happening in this server? One day I'll find a dark oak forest though. One day. Wow, look at this naturally grown dark oak wood. Such a great find, so natural. I spawned you into this world, you will not tell. You can have another golem though, why not? Smurfville leading up into our new village on top of the hill looks so cool, I love it. We got all the colors down here, then we got the more traditional medieval fantasy village at the top and it's looking so good. Maybe the little Nautilus down here in the pond will like the dolphin head. It's a, it's a plushie, it's a, it's a plushie, it's not real what's his name he needs a name and all done look at our village just one building remains my house those are my barrels my workstation mine oh fish you can borrow it for now chicken i don't know how you managed it but you managed to trick all of the villagers into your pen and then somehow you got out brethren family are you gonna join them too come on out just yeah let's just the chicken coop didn't work Failed experiment. We'll just open the trap doors for now. Oh no, he's still in there. There's a second chicken out. Close the doors. The chicken must stay in. If the villagers are in there with you, it's their fault. We need a big house full of barrels. You got it. Thank you for the fish, good sir. And look at this. The barrel house is finished. The fisherman's house, our home. My home, because I'm the number one fisherman. We have it. It's completed. Look at it. It's beautiful. And so much wheat. Absolutely so much wheat. First, I started by harvesting this field. Then I planted this field. And then I planted this field. And well, finally planting this field over here, Scott came to my rescue. Flip. Oh my Hello. God, look at you. The angel has arrived. Hi, welcome to the village. I'm here to smite you for murdering me before. You know what? It looks like you turned over a better leaf, so you're welcome. I'm a vengeful angel now. I'm here to seek justice. I'm just going to do that. I'll kill it. You can try. That's not protecting you. You can try. He, buddy, get back here. Get, uh. <laughs> anyway, uh. let's turn over a new leaf. It's fine. I'm here yeah, because we're friends you required now. your new current lives. Wheat. Yes, yes, yes. I am desperate, des absolutely desperate for wheat right now. This is my new leaf. <gasps> oh my lord! How much hay bales? Too? Oh my lord! You, you saved me. You sa look at this. Is that, is that a good enough new leaf? Yes. This is my fisherman's house. Look at all the barrels. The barrels are bountiful. No, oh, why do you need so many barrels? Barrels for the barrel god. There's a barrel god? The barrel god, yes. This doesn't feel humane. Oh, they did this themselves. They actually, they weren't in there to begin with. They, oh. yeah, they did that themselves. I normally prefer free range villagers rather than... Normally I do. See, they're welcome to come out. Oh, Jesus. But I'm... Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the chicken in there and then the villagers get in and I don't want to let the chicken out. So the villagers now stay in there. I don't see a chicken in there. Take it out. Oh man, there was a chicken in there. <laughs> well, thank you for the hay. I appreciate well, you enjoy. it. Enjoy. Yes. Uh, hopefully it works for you. Now as the final step, we of course need some more barrels inside of the fisherman house. Barrels for the barrel god. But with that, it's finally time to say the village is complete and we can go fishing. But before we start down here, I think I want to go get some levels and enchant it. We are the fishermen after all, all powerful fisher of the server, and we deserve to have a beautiful fishing rod to go with it. Got a load of levels and we've got ourselves some lapis in here. And this is for the barrel god. The barrel god will give us, woo, the barrel god is approved. I might need to place some more barrels to get an even stronger enchantment next time around, but this can at least get us started. Let's go fishing. Stop! You're gonna hit the, the the shell, man! Who are you? Uh, it's, it's me, Ollie. I was I was here like t ten days ago. I'm you not, look a little bit. You look. Are don't, you a fish? Kind no, of don't look at me. Freaky little fish I'm man fan, over there. I, I, you didn't have to say it. Look, I've I've had to move. Things aren't well for me. I don't. I no longer have the grace of the orb, and it's all gone wrong. You look, can't live I, here. This, is, here. My this is my. This is. I I built this pond for this little guy. This is my Nautilus's pond. What's Wait, but me? you're you're a fish. Yeah. I like, yeah, I like I'm, fishing. I'm a, can I? I? I don't like this. I don't I like. I, don't. I like this. <laughs> I don't Ollie, get back here! Ollie, stop grabbing! Stop being all grabbing! Ollie, get back here! I'm comfortable I'm gonna with the die. Ah. I will catch that fish. I'm gonna get that fish. I'm gonna get him. I now have the ultimate quest, my lifelong mission, to catch the fish man. The fish, the biggest fish we could possibly catch on this server. I have to do it. I have to do it. The elusive prey. It will be caught. But that is it for today, my friends. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like down below if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're brand new. And with that, my friends, 
I'll catch y'all on the flip side.